record and we're all set. Well, good evening, everyone. Larry Korchin here. Um, just glad and uh, thankful everybody's here for our weekly meeting, just to touch base and uh, go through our uh, business and talk about uh, how everybody's doing. So uh, as we kick off tonight, uh, I'm gonna read a little bit of inspiration versus uh, kind of messing around with the computer and doing a video, but I found something really good that I hope uh, you enjoy. So uh, we all know that uh, the movie Mr. Rogers is out. So I found an article that was just published last week by a Holly Rossi. She writes for Guidepost, which is a, a Christian um, magazine, uh, you know, publication that's out there. And it says, a positive life lesson for Mr. Rogers. Accepting all our feelings, both good and bad, is this icon's most lasting gift. You're special just the way you are. There's no one in the world who's exactly like you. Let's make the most of this beautiful day. These phrases from the wonderful Fred Mr. Rogers, whose life is celebrated in a new film starring Tom Hanks, are as iconic as the red sweater Rogers donned on his PBS television show. Mr. Rogers is remembered for his insatiable devotion to the values of kindness, friendship, and emotional literacy, and he is universally viewed as a positive role model. But Rogers' most lasting gift, even and maybe especially to the adults who, like me, grew up watching his wonderful world to make uh, his wonderful world of make believe, is the way he taught again and again that all feelings are real, important, and valid. He embodied the idea of authentic positivity, which teaches that only when we embrace the full range of our emotions, including the so-called negative feelings of anger, sadness, loneliness, and fear, can we learn to walk through life with a genuinely positive outlook. The host considered all feelings natural, including the dark ones, and believed they don't need fixing. The philosophy professor, Mariana Alessandri, recently wrote in the New York Times, Rogers lived by the adage, what is mentionable is manageable. And again and again, he modeled ways to, to acknowledge difficult feelings like frustration and sadness and handle those feelings in healthy ways like playing music, running fast to release energy, and asking questions to face the fear with facts. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was purportedly a show for children, Alessandri wrote, but I think Rogers also meant it for adults. We'd be better off if we'd stop negating children's dark emotions with stifling commands like don't cry, calm down, be quiet. I'd add that we should stop negating our own dark feelings, instead giving ourselves permission to see and like ourselves just the way we are. So that's our motivational moment. So uh, again, haven't seen the movie yet. I'm excited to get out there and see it. I hope you enjoyed that. Everybody enjoy that? Yes, no? Good. All right. Good. Well, I, I tried to uh, try to find something motivational out there and that caught my eye. So uh, appreciate that. So uh, as we get started tonight, again, just um, we go into our up close and personal. And tonight we have the pleasure of hearing from Gina Manley and Beth Bilton as far as how their business is and just to uh, share a little bit of what's going on in their life. And I will turn it over to Beth first to get started. Beth, can you unmute yourself and take it away? I can. Thank you so much for having me on tonight. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so a little bit about me. I am from Marietta, Georgia, and I started a program in May of 2016, and I became a coach in July of 2016, so almost three and a half years now. And I actually knew Larry better than I knew Dee, because our kids were um, in, in band together. And uh, Larry was the band president and I was the band um, treasurer. So we worked very closely together. So and he introduced me to his wonderful wife, Dee. Hey Dee, look like you had a great vacation. <laughs> um, so since I have been coaching about three and a half years, um, I have experienced ups and downs and challenges. Um, but I just want to, to give you a couple of hints and tips on um, ways to keep moving forward. So the one thing that I think is important is don't compare your rank to other people's rank. Um, we always tell our clients, especially on our Live and Be Optivia page, 
people post, I lost 25 pounds the first week. <laughs> and um, someone's like, I only lost 10, you know. So try not to um, compare yourself with other people, especially when we get towards the end of the month and all that's coming out. So I'm personally excited for everybody who ranks up. I think that's awesome. So just try to have that excitement mentality instead of, oh my gosh, I didn't make it. Um, you know, I've been working really hard things like that. So try to always be positive um, with that. And uh, one thing, get out and share your story as much as you can. Um, I've been doing networking, um, which I've found that to be very, very helpful. I've met lots and lots of people, which is wonderful. And I know some people have had some in-home parties, which I think is fantastic. So keep that up. Um, and also being a coach means that you're also a client. So never forget that uh, you need to follow the plan, be, be on program. So whatever that is for you, whether it's five and one, four and two, three and three. So always to, to be on program, because it's hard to coach your clients if you're not doing what you ask them to do too. So I think that's very important. Um, and another thing is to invest in yourself um, with personal development. Um, a lot of us on here read lots of books. So if you have any questions or suggestions or need, you know, need something and maybe put it when Dee posts this, um, we can list some books that we like that we found um, help motivate us and inspire us. Uh, that's one thing that's been really, really huge for me is the personal development part. Um, and also don't give up or just get discouraged. Always, always, always talk to your business mentor. We have gotten great ones um, on, the, on our team. And so just lean into them and use their experience and their guidance and really listen to them. And if they ask you, suggest for you to do something, really take it to heart, even though it might be really scary and you don't want to do it. You know, they've been there. They know what, what works best. So always try to, you know, listen to them and really take to heart what they're saying. And as Zena always says, have fun. <laughs> always have a good time uh, doing what you're doing and just to be yourself, be authentic. And, and most of all, just be grateful for the business that you have and all the people that you're helping. Just, just think of everyone, just the ripple effect of everybody that you're helping. Um, I see Ruth on here. I don't know if she knows this or not. Um, her husband, Charles, is my cousin, and he was the main reason why I decided to become a coach. Um, he was having health issues. Did you know that, Ruth? Yes or no? No. <laughs> um, we weren't that close growing up, but I knew he was having some, some health issues, and I, he was on my heart, and he's the main reason I decided to become a coach. And now his beautiful wife is coaching, and so I'm, I'm just thrilled to have them up oh, and there, <laughs> there's her helper. <laughs> um, I'm just thrilled to have her on the team and can't wait to see all the people that she's going to help. So those are my tips. So thank you so much for letting me share. Awesome, Beth. Really appreciate that. And, you know, it's, um, you know, all good points, you know, taking care of our own health, remembering that again, we, we've got to stay focused on our, ourselves or else we can't serve others. And then uh, again, that whole comparison trap. Oh my gosh, there, there's so many times we get into, okay, what about that guy? I mean, we, we see it everywhere in our society and it's so important not to compare and just kind of drive our own, uh, our own lives and our own careers from that standpoint. So, uh, so glad uh, you presented and thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we're gonna move it over to our friend, Gina. Gina, share your, um, your story, please. Well, um, so I came, my husband and I came to the program in um, September of 2018, and I had two goals, and one was to lose 20 pounds, and two was to keep it off forever, and he had a goal of 50 pounds, and he's at 103 pounds lost, and still shooting for a little bit more, um, but I started coaching then in October, so at the very end of October of last year, so I've hit a full year and a month and a half or so. And the things that I have learned is one is to come to this call and don't just listen, but hear. Hear what everybody is saying. We've got an incredible mentorship team. Um, you know, follow even a lot of their own posts because there's always a nugget that speaks to you and your journey that you can share with your clients. Um, you know, I, I have found that if I am consistent and I am consistently in action, 
then my business consistently grows. And probably the biggest fear I've had is putting myself out there and posting. You know, I'm a, I'm a Facebook stalker and commenter and a liker, um, but I was never much of a poster. And oh my gosh, I had to start being vulnerable on Facebook in front of all these people. And, you know, I always ask myself, well, what's the worst that can happen? And if it's not death, then why not? And the more I did it, the more comfortable I became in doing it. And I'm not perfect. No one expects us to be perfect. But how would people know I was coaching and available to them if I wasn't consistently putting it out there? And, and that's not just posting about my husband and I or transformation stories, but it's also motivational things, but it's also us in action. People see when they see pictures of us, they see we're living the lifestyle. We're keeping our weight off. We're demonstrating without hitting them in the head that we're living what's possible. And if we don't, if I'm not consistent, how is anybody going to know that I'm going to take their health seriously if I'm not serious? And so getting out of my head has probably been the hardest thing for me to do. And, and I still sometimes get in my head and I will text my coach, Lisa Bloom, and I'll get a get out of your head. Um, and once I do, and the more I do it, the less fearful it is and the easier it becomes. And then when I look at the lives that I, I'm helping to change, it, it takes all that fear away. So that is, that is my tip for everybody is to, to be in action and be consistent. Awesome. Well, thank you, Gina. And you, you've welcome. done a great job uh, demonstrating that. And uh, again, you know, consistency, you know, sometimes it, it's, you know, you're, you're making an investment. You know, you really are. I mean, and, and sometimes your investment takes a little bit of time to pay off. So I think a, a lot of times we just get in that mode of uh, immediate gratification. We think we post and we should have 10 people knocking on our door, you know, for the program. And, and it's hard. It, it, it's hard not to see that right away. Um, and our health, you know, just again, being consistent with our health is so important too. Beth had mentioned that um, as we come into the holidays, we, you know, we're supporting our clients but at the same time, we've got to make sure that we're working with our coaches, too, um, because it's the temptations are there. You know, I, it's not just our clients temptations for us. We should be a little bit better at it. Right. We've been doing it a little bit longer than our clients. But still, um, we still run into those um, you know, issues where we go to parties and you got things there. And do we have a game plan going into that party. It's important to make sure that again, we're, we're taking care of ourselves. So again, great points and uh, appreciate both of you guys for sharing tonight. And uh, so we're moving on in our agenda. And oh, by the way, this is my co-host, D live straight from Texas. She just came in the door, literally. Her bag is sitting right there and she took a seat. So the timing couldn't have been uh, more perfect from that standpoint. So now moving on in our agenda, we're going to talk about training. And um, one of the things, you know, what's been great is the, the transformational system that Dr. A has uh, put together. I know um, we all have it and we all have been working and we're all in different stages as far as where we are with that. And that's, and that's fine. You know, everybody's, you know, kind of getting to where they need to be. One of the things I wanted to point out is, is again, Try to, try to really put those blocks. We talk about our, our daily schedules and putting rocks or boulders in our schedule to make sure we have time for ourselves, time for our families, time for clients, and, and really put structure to our business. It's important though, really, to put structure to this as well. This, this educational system, um, yeah, it's kind of a reboot for us and, and for, for clients that have been on the program for a while, but we need to be in it. And in order to do that, we've got to set some time aside to do that. Now, uh, full disclosure, I'm probably on element four, okay? But I have read through the entire coaching guide. And the coaching guide actually brings me a little bit of peace because that, that's kind of the flow that we're supposed to help 
educate our clients through, okay? So I, I feel comfortable that I've got the guide down. Um, I still have to work on my elements and still build on that in the life book. And for me, the life book I struggle with. I, I'm, full disclosure, I'm like, okay, what do I want to say here? Or, you know, can I come back to that question? And then, you know, will I actually go back to it later on? So again, it's important to incorporate it with your clients from the very beginning now. Um, I've actually found it with a few of my clients starting in the beginning is very easy. We, we, we talk about it and I say, okay, you know, can you, uh, let's talk next week about, you know, the first element you're going to work on. And again, we have clients that do not get there, right? They would say, well, I'm busy, you know, uh, you know, we had a busy week at work and this and that and everything. I try to get them to connect to something. The Wednesday night calls where we're talking about the different elements with Dr. A, that's another way to go through the system. So it's not just the book, but engaging in some way and getting to those elements. So the, the book is important, but if your client is, is you know, really tough, we have other ways. The newsletter covers elements. The, you know, the Wednesday night calls cover elements. Um, and again, the books, of course, cover the elements. So, um, so ourselves, kind of kind of going back to what, what Gina and Beth said, right? Um, it, it's about accountability to ourselves and our accountability to ourselves is making sure we have those, those rocks in our schedule. Thoughts on that? Yeah. I mean, Larry and I thought it was really important to really as a team start to move this up as our priority. Um, Dr. Anderson, if you've been watching his calls, um, this is it guys, the transformational system, which is the habits of health book and the app and the life book. This is what sets us apart in the health industry. And so this is the emphasis. When people ask, how are you different than X, Y, Z? This is it. And, you know, Dr. A just keeps emphasizing that it starts with us and that the real initiative for the first quarter is that all of us, every single one of us, Larry, you, me, that we are embracing the system. And like Larry said, I mean, it's, I'm busy, you're busy, and it's probably the first thing that I would like to push off my list and not work on but if when i'm not working in the um the transformational system i can't authentically um ask my clients to do it and so when they tell me they're struggling with time now that i am incorporating it and i'm only on element three um, but now i've got it sitting by my morning readings i do a page or two a day i connect with them by saying i get it i get it i'm struggling with it too but here's what I'm doing and here's what I have found and why it's helpful. So being vulnerable yourself, but bringing that connection. But um, this is how our clients will get through the brain change. This is how you will get through your thoughts and emotions. And I have found that you can apply that life book to your physical health. Mm -hmm. You can apply it to your relationships. You can apply it to your, um, you know, your business on every level it applies. So I just encourage you, even if you've already been through it, go back through it again. But if you're walking that journey, um, you're more authentically going to be able to bring your clients along with you. And, um, and I encourage you what I, you know, if you're a frontline coach for Larry and I, we will begin to talk to this uh, as part of your weekly mentoring as well as where are you? Um, because I think it'd be helpful. I think sometimes I know I am guilty of forgetting about our own personal journeys and really just jumping into the business. But it, it like, Beth and Gina said it really starts with us on every level. And I, I'm excited. I think that this is going to be a game changer for us as an organization, as a team, and, um, and what we'll be able to deliver and, um, and move our clients along. Yeah. And, you know, just one little, this is one little tidbit that comes into my head. And, you know, sometimes my head's a little different than a lot of people. But the tidbit is, you know, our, when you're on program, it really, our meals are quick. So, you know, having a bar or making something quick for lunch, you have a lot of extra time. So from, from eating, you know, so um, again, just a little uh, tip there, you can incorporate it with your meal as far as, you know, reading a couple pages and, and kind of go in there. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the way I think about it. I share that sometimes. I'm, I don't know if I get laughed at or not. You guys can tell me another time. So anyway. So uh, moving on tonight, we have uh, our speakers about the life books. Just so happened, we're just talking about the life book. And we wanted to get some of our coaches share a little bit about how they're using the life book with their business and personally as well, if they want to share that. So again, we have Cassie Moore and Zena tonight to share. So uh, let's start with Cassie and 
Cassie, take it away. Hey guys, hope y'all are all good. Um, Dee had asked if I would share a little bit about um, how I'm using the transformational system. And uh, I was like, oh gosh, I haven't integrated that with all my clients, but, um, and that's my honest disclosure, but um, I have since the um, publication, I guess the hour access to it, I started my uh, transformational system in September. And um, I was just kind of reading it here or there, but after uh, the Transformational Business Summit, I started really, um, as they said, and you've heard, get lean. I really started making it a part of my morning routine. So I'm getting up earlier, um, and I have found that I really look forward to that quiet time, not only for my spiritual help, um, but also for this transformational uh, system. So I found that the more I read it, the more I had a yearning to read it, which I know kind of sounds strange because it is a big book and it's kind of intimidating. Um, but like Dee said, it covers more than just the science behind our health. Um, it's not a health publication just for our bodies, but I found even just this week, I used it in some um, dealings with some relationships within my family and just knowing how to convey myself properly, how to respond properly. Um, so it's, it really is kind of seeping into all the different areas of my life as I began to read it. And I think um, I posted, maybe it was this week or last week about, I now consider my stack of books that I go to in the morning, I consider that my healing place. And it's just a really good start to my day and I look forward to it when I wake up. Um, I have encouraged my older clients to get the system and not all of them have. And all of my new clients, I do order the kit with the transformational system. And the first week I really focus on their nutrition and them becoming familiar with the plan. And then I go ahead and, and give them kind of a lead in to um, next week, once you're more familiar with your plan, we're really going to start using the life book and having conversations with that. And I have a few clients, a handful of clients that have um, started reading, even if it's just opening it up and, you know, where are you currently or the very first page, the intro, um, just, you know, page by page. And I tell them that we're going to go at their pace and then just cover. And it's so funny because they'll start asking me questions. Um, the few um, really um, integrated clients that I have right now, they're like, well, why do I think this way? Or why can't I move beyond this? And I'm like, you know what? That is a great question that, you know, if you dive into your life book, you're going to find deeper answers than what I can give you across the phone. So I keep pointing them back to the resource that we have. So I think it's phenomenal. I think it really does set us apart. Um, not all people understand that and that's okay. And that's part of that. Somebody else on the call was referring to a frustration um, that we kind of get to because some people just don't get it. But I do, um, I do think that it really does set us apart from a lot of the other things that are available. Cassie, that's great. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of interesting because just by getting those questions, you know, from your clients, you know, you think about it, they, the, the probability of success for those clients just goes that much higher. You know, when you, yeah. when you hear those people are engaged and they want to get better and they want to figure out those thoughts in their head. And it's just awesome because again, um, I, I just think about it. Those those that aren't ask, asking the question have a lower probability. You know, I, I always I'm a numbers guy, so you know when mm -hmm. I hear that I'm like I'm you know you, I don't know I just got I just got excited about that because uh, I wish all our clients would start to do that. Yeah, so, absolutely. Thanks thanks for sharing. That's awesome. All right, well let's go to our uh, Caribbean Zena. And uh, now she's she's back and she's uh, excited to share tonight uh, how she's using the transformational system. Take it away, Zena. Thanks, Larry. Welcome home, D. I hope everybody had a great December dash. <laughs> and uh, I want to share a little bit about my experience with the Life Book. Um, I believe I was one of the first to get the Life Book. We got it in uh, back at the convention, and it sat on my desk and it was such a beautiful book there that I did not want to write my name in it. I didn't want to mess it up with writing. I just looked at it and I looked at it every day. 
Um, and then I started listening to some trainings about the different elements. And then I got to see Dr. A's doing his life book. And I thought, wow, I've got to do this. And I thought that the only thing that's going to really get me into this, like I need to, is having an accountability partner, which I think is number one. I've got the best accountability partner, Vicki Meister, A1. And uh, we set a day and a time each week for our meeting. And that's our rock. That's my rock in my calendar. So that's really important. And now I have my name in my book. Yay. So, um, you know, when I started going through my book, um, I got to ask myself some questions like, am I taking responsibility for my change? Am I taking responsibility for my health? Um, what is it I really want? You know, I wanted to be the client, I wanted to be the person that I'm asking my clients to be. And this life book has been really helping me. And I'm in love with my coaching guide. It's just like attachment to me. And um, I want to be energized. And what, so now I got to see, I am on element four, which yay, Larry. And um, at the summit, I got to see Dan Valentine was on element four. And so I, I didn't feel bad anymore. Like I'm far behind. No, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And um, so now, I, you know, fast forward being on element four, you know, um, I get to see the missing link for me. And I got to see this through the life book that my missing link so far is my exercise that is completing me as my health. And I wouldn't have seen that so clearly if it wasn't for the life book. And, um, and now I get to see the importance and why my clients need to do this. And going back to my clients that have been on it that didn't have it, it's a little more challenging to get them to see the importance. But always, you know, now with my clients starting, um, I get them to go into it right away. And I am working through it with them, which, um, you know, has found a little more challenging to me time-wise because I really want to get them involved and I want to get them in a different headset mindset that they're working on a whole picture of mind, body, and spirit, everything that I'm getting from the life book. So, um, you know, the importance of it is beyond that I can say accountability partner is number one. And um, so uh, I'm looking forward to getting further involved and I, and again, I, there's trainings on all the different elements that I have really been loving to hear. And, and sometimes then I'll go back into uh, the beginning elements. And so I can't wait to get further along. And um, thanks for letting me share. Awesome. So thank, thankful for both of you guys sharing tonight. Uh, Zena, you know, again, I really love that you and Vicki have, uh, again, become accountability partners. And, and Dee just mentioned to me, too, again, it was, uh, you know, Pat and Lisa last week were talking about being accountability for FIBC. You know, that, that's what makes um, this team time, that's what makes uh, us all partners and support each other in growing our businesses. And that's what I love about our team and, and about this business is that we can support each other, um, you know, across the phone, across the country, wherever we may be, may be because again, we're, we're like-minded in what we're trying to do. And so I love that. I love that you guys are working together and, you know, again, great ideas and please others, you know, if you want an accountability partner, throw it out there. And, and you know, again, I'm sure people will step up to, uh, again, help and be part of that um, oh, accountability wow. as well. So great stuff. Um, you know, as we get now towards, um, you know, the end of our time tonight, just want you to continue to remember, um, you know, you guys are doing a great job out there. You know, things are, you know, especially this time of year, people are distracted. So again, uh, keeping your clients focused, um, had a great call today with a client and his numbers, he blew his doctor away as far as his numbers on his uh, sugars. And uh, those are the things why we do what we do, right? We, we kept somebody off of medicine, we kept them healthy, and we put them on the path to, to again, health, 
so they don't have to worry about that again going forward. And that's what we do. And that's where, you know, this holiday time, it, it's awesome because we get to reflect. And please take the time to reflect back. Sometimes we don't look at all the wonderful impacts we've had this year. So please take that time. Look through your uh, former clients and those that, that may have fallen off and weren't completely trans, um, transferred into all the habits, the healthy habits, you know, say a prayer for them. Reach out to them. Let them know you're out there. And again, you're willing to help them as we get towards 2020. So appreciate all you guys. Anything before I jump off? No, just thanks for being on. We know just we talked about our clients being busy and distracted. It's easy for us as coaches. Um, the, the same could happen. But so thank you to every single one of you that made time for tonight um, and making time for yourself and your business. So we appreciate every single one of you guys. And it's good to be back and be back with all you guys. Well, I hope I let okay. If, uh, if you have any survey questions or responses, please send them to the, uh, the commander in chief here. Um, just please only, only tens, uh, <laughs> you know, but anyway, and I appreciate you guys. And uh, uh, we're off to Dr. A's call in a minute. I think I gave you a minute and uh, you guys have a great day and a great week. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.